Hello everyone, thanks for coming out here. Um, the news reaching us today is from uh, Namdi Kano, Mazi Namdi Kano. He has a message uh, for Nigerians today for presidency as well. Hmm. Quite interesting. I, I, you know, all of these news as they come out, presidency, they hear all of them. And I believe that they are beginning to panic now and um, try, they are already trying to put things right. So Namdi Kano has a word for Aisha Buhari. We know after the death of um, Abba Kiari, Aisha has started taking her place because before now, she has been crying out to Nigerians that uh, this man, Abba Kiari, wants to kill her husband. We know that they've not been in good uh, um, um, terms. It was until Abba Kiari passed away that people even faulted her tribute when she uh, sent her tribute um, after Abba Kiari died and then... Um, what all she could say about the man and people were so they were wondering that this man that worked with your husband for so many years all you could say about him is that uh, may allah forgive your shortcoming so people uh, they had different uh, reservations um about that and then uh, that probably she was rejoicing that finally the obstacle on her way is gone so she wants to take back her place and then uh, be in charge and control her husband and everything but um, right now, this, it's, this is not going too fast because um, uh, Unam Dekano is saying that I've got my eyes on you. He's got this, this message to pass out. Uh, but before we jump um, into the news, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to us, do click on the subscribe button down below. And um, also give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button um, just to give us some form of support to let us know you do appreciate um, what we're doing. We want to say thank you very much. We really appreciate you and for supporting us and for coming out here. So yeah, let's um, go back into the news now. Aisha Buhari will end up in jail, Namdi Kanu claims. Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has claimed that he was certain that Nigeria's first lady, Aisha Buhari, and others will end up in jail. According to the UK-based IPOB leader, this will happen by the time Nigerians realize that the man in charge of the government is not who they voted for in 2015. Kanu claimed that the wife of the president and her alleged gang has been fooling Nigerians all this while sharing the photo of two Hollywood actors impersonating President Kim of North Korea and Donald Trump of the United States. Nam Dekano tweeted how they have been fooling their fellow Nigerians and why I am certain Aisha Buhari and her gang will end up in jail. Below are two actors impersonating President Kim of North Korea and Trump of the United States. The resemblance is as striking as that of Jubri Sudani to late Buhari. These are only actors, but in Nigeria, the actor Jubrim is the actual president. I tweeted this picture a while back to remind those in Axel Rock that we all have the facts that will send all of them to prison for life. Kanu has been making these claims for years now. Even though not many Nigerians believe him, it's seen as part of the group's propaganda. This one is serious. So, so um, Unam Dikanu, um, he's saying that um, all of these, um, he started with Aisha Buhari, that um, she and her gang, her gang, she and her gang, I know, we know she's, she's not part of the cabal anyways, but um, it looks like she has a team. Her gang, obviously her husband is part of her gang. Unam Dikanu is claiming that... Um, she and her gang are all going to end up in jail very soon that he's got all his facts but we know the one thing he has been propagating for some time we don't really know about that that's just his um school of thought those are his beliefs he feels like that um the person in the villa in aso rock is actually um jubrim jubrim sudani and that uh, Buhari is no more. But that's quite an allegation. I don't really know how true that is. But that's how uh, Namdi Kano feels. And I believe that's what Biafrans, that's what they believe as well. Because that's what the group has been um, propagating. As they are but the main thing here is that um, the reason he's saying um, Aisha Buhari needs to go to jail. I really, we don't know yet. But he said he has all his facts. Everything uh, are with him. 
this one this one is really is quite surprising not too surprising but the the truth is uh, when all this all these are leaders those in presidency when they feel that they can get away with things um they should think twice again because the age we live in um is quite different from when they started if you check back even from 2015 up to 2020 now it's been like five years now things have really changed technology even in nigeria has taken a new turn and the way people can capture evidences you will be shocked you will not believe it so if nam dekano is speaking here that he's got uh, um, all the facts to put them behind bars for all their crimes we know looting and um, corruption is still in our country our country is not free from um, corruption even from presidency from the very top it's not like um, it's just them um, state governors that are corrupt. The truth is, is from the top, from the very top. We remember um, the other day, um, Saraki Bukola was so bold enough. Um, he, he spoke about um, presidency, spoke how corrupt um, President Mohamed Buhari is. And um, if he's saying that President Mohamed Buhari is corrupt, it means he's not just President Mohamed Buhari. It's everyone that works with him. His entire team, everyone that surrounds him, that's that's the implication. That's what it means. Right now, we don't know. So it means, yeah, from that statement as well, it means Aisha Buhari is corrupt as well. Because if you are saying uh, President Mohamed Buhari is corrupt, the corruption is spreading it over to her. And uh, it's it's all around them. The circle is all there. So um, this this gang he's talking about now, we haven't seen the gang. We know she's she's on her own fight. Even the cabal, there was one time and one of the cabal, that was uh, Mama Dwara. I believe we heard that news as well. When Mama Dwara came out and told Aisha Buhari that um, your place is in the kitchen, go back to the kitchen. We, Mama Dwara was not even just saying that. We remember that uh, Buhari has made that comment before in uh, sometime in 2015. He made whether it was jokingly, I don't know. He made that comment um, that um, Aisha's place is um, is in the kitchen, and uh, so the the reason I'm saying that uh, I know Aisha Buhari is not part of the cabal, so maybe she has her own gang that um, Nam Dekano is speaking about that she and her gang, or probably herself and presidency, the whole of presidency, they are the gang Nam Dekano is referring to that they will all be exposed very soon and they will all go to jail. And the thing is. Anyone who um is corrupt, we know EFCC every now and then they bring fraud allegations about different persons. If they are truly tied to any kind of fraud, then then they, ha they have to face the law. But right now, there's been no evidence, so he's keeping all the evidence to himself. He said he's got proof and everything that will put them in prison for life. Hmm. Also, Rock, be ready for this, or be ready for Nam the Kanu. Anyways, my people, that's the news they're reaching us at the moment. I do want us to leave our take and our thoughts. I know a lot of people have different um, opinion about this uh, Mazinam Dikano who has been agitated for a while for um, Biafra, for independence, and is still not coming out. And um, the main reason for this is agitation, is the oppression. If he believes that the oppression from the North is enough, that the North has dominated the country for a long time, as though they are the ones that own the country. So that's his push. That's why he's been pushing and agitating for this um, independence and um, this uh, Biafra. We also know that um, the one million man uh, match was meant to hold in June. But as a result of this COVID-19, everything is um, kind of um, in on hold at the moment. But all he's stating, his bold statements today is that Aisha Buhari will definitely end up in jail herself and her gang. So my people, yeah, leave your comments be below down in the comment section. Uh, there, there's no hard feelings. That's that's his own um, um opinion. The truth is, everyone has got their own opinion in life. So freedom of speech. He has shared what he he feels, and like he said, that he's got facts. He's the one that has got facts. Probably when the time comes, he will let um Nigerians see his fact, the facts he's been talking about. So um, let us hear what you think. I want to say thank you once again to everyone that have subscribed. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing here. So till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.